But when I have to find a solve a problem without finding a weighted mean like finding a GPA is, I'll, and especially if they give the information to me in this in this uh, paragraph like this, I'll break things out to a table out to a table. So let's see, what do we have? Uh, what what do the student get for grades? We see that um, an A in a four credit course, a B in two three credit courses, and a C in a one credit course. So we've got um, a couple. So I'm going to put I'm going to make a table. I'm going to call the first column a grade. And let's see, we got uh, an A, and this is, uh, let's see, I'll, I'll uh, add a value, let's see, I'll write the word value, but what I'm going to do is transcribe these four points, three points, etc. So an A is worth four points, and that was in a four credit course, then the student got two B's, and those are worth three points, and this is in a three credit course each, because this is two three credit courses. And then got a C, but we're taking a fairly light load this semester, it looks like. Um, so a C is worth two points, and this is a one credit course. And then what you're going to do is you're going to, on your transcript, these are called quality points. And what you do is you multiply the value for the letter grade times how many credits it's worth. This is why when you fail a four credit course it hurts more than than uh, a three credit course. So let's see that gave me 16 quality points and then for the next one three times three is nine and another nine and then we get two and then we're gonna find the sum of the credits and the sum of the quality points so let's see, if I add up these quality points, that's 25, 34, th um, 36 quality points. And if we add up the credits, that's uh, 4, 10, 11 credit hours. We're not even a full-time student. And then what we'll do to get the GPA is we're going to take 36 and divide it by 11. And then we usually round two decimal places. If this is a my math lab question, you'll have to pay attention to how many cre how many decimal points they want. And let's see if I can get my calculator to work here. Uh, Thirty six divided by eleven. That is a GPA of three point two seven. Not too bad. It's been semesters I would have been happy with that. So and that's how you figure a GPA. Or actually any weighted mean. It's always this multiplication and summing process. Hope that helps.